Welcome to this video, I'm Andrea Gozzi, Technical Director at Redmatica, and this time I want to talk about ProManager. ProManager is an application for managing sampled instruments libraries in multiple formats, and we support the EXS for logic, main stage and garage bands, native instruments contact, structure for tools, and the NXT sampler in Reason. Let's start from the basics, and as a sampler user you will probably agree that one of the most annoying situations is when your sampler can't find some sample files while you're browsing. So you get an error message, you have to stop working on your music and you waste a lot of time searching for the files. Well, ProManager has been designed to solve that problem and actually many others. In this case, as you can see, we have a problem with an EXS library which we just copied from, from another drive. So let's start ProManager to fix the situation. This is the simplified ProManager mode. And in this mode, we set one or two folders where our files, samples and instruments are. And then we click the relink button. The relink function updates the links between instruments and samples and optimizes the files so that they will load at the fastest possible speed in your sampler. And that's it. So let's check again in Logic. And as you can see, instruments now will load very quickly as they should. This is very, very simple to use as it's indeed called the simplified mode. Now let's switch to the Advanced Pro Manager mode by clicking this button at the top right. At the left we have the list of libraries, as we might have more than one, and then we have the list of locations for each library. A location can be either a folder or a drive where you keep your files. As this is the first time we are using ProManager, we have to define our first library. So we do this by clicking the Add button here at the bottom, and now we have to set the locations for this library. Some samplers use a set of folders in predefined locations. In ProManager we can add these folders using the standard button, but in this case we want only to manage a small demo library we have here in this folder. And so we won't use that function and we will instead drag our folder to the location table. For each selected location we can also check its path on our system here at the bottom. We now have a library, so we can click the scan button to scan our files. Now let's check the instruments and the color tells us about their status. So orange means that all samples were found and the instrument just needs to be relinked. Red means that one or more samples weren't found in the scanned locations. When an instrument is uh, selected, here at the right we see the list of samples it needs and these are called references. You can play samples by pressing the space bar and you can browse both references and the instruments. It's always important to take a look at statistics. For each selected location we see the number of complete and incomplete instruments and used, unused and duplicate samples. Keep in mind that these used, unused, incomplete attributes are always in the context of what you're scanning. So if you forgot to add any location with your instruments, then all samples will be shown as unused and so on. In a similar way, if you have a large number of incomplete instruments, it's very possible you forgot to add and scan a sample location. Let's check one of our incomplete instruments and its missing samples. We first select one of the incomplete instruments and then we can check the missing samples here. We use a quick spotlight search to see if we have one of these sample files somewhere in our Mac and in this case, as you can see, it's really missing. So it's not a big problem as the incomplete instruments will simply be ignored. Otherwise, if we had found those samples, we would have added and scanned a new location with the folder containing those files.
Once we are sure our library has been well defined and we are happy with what we see, we click the relink button much as we previously did in simplified mode. As you see, the instruments are now white and this means they have been relinked and optimized. But this is just the beginning of what you can do with Pro Manager. As you see, this library has some duplicate and unused sample files, and I'll use ProManager to remove those files, as they are just a waste of my disk space. First, I'm removing the duplicate sample files. And then, I'm removing the unused sample files. Let's go check the stats now. Perfect. No more extra files. Now let's check our library in the Finder and I could have also double-clicked a location or an instrument to open a Finder window. As you can see, this is a very messy library. Files are spread a bit everywhere and are difficult to find. Notice also how we have several different instrument formats in this library. Let's use Pro Manager to reorganize our files and as first thing I want to separate instruments by format. We'll also move incomplete instruments aside in a separate folder and we'll also reorganize our samples so that their folder structure will resemble the one for the instruments. Their folder structure will resemble the one for the instruments. As Pro Manager we move files around in the library, at the end there will be a lot of empty folders. We click this checkbox to delete them automatically. And then we start. Let's go check. And here now we have our beautiful library well sorted by instrument format. And the same is for our samples. 